Hello guys, good day. Welcome to Yami Yuda. And you know, I'm so excited to share again uh, a series of presentation about the lives of philosophers, uh, great men, kings, emperors. And again, I'm back with Epicoros, Epicoros on life. And I'm so excited to share with you some insights on how Epicoros view things about life. So shall we start? But before, I would like to invite you to be our partner, be a Yudan, and like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell for you to be updated all the time when I, you know, present some new presentations about the great men of history, philosophers, generals, emperors, kings, and the greatest men who ever walked on earth. So please subscribe and enjoy the rest of the day may the force be with you as you we, as you go along and be our partner so shall we start about how epicorus think about life and how he how he how he how his philosophy you know uh, teach us about how to live a good life so um his philosophy can be found more of his writings on his letter to Minoetius. And in this letter, it explains his hedonistic philosophy. Sometimes, you know, we are so negative in how we look at his philosophy because, you know, hedonism is all about, you know, the philosophy of looking at life in, in, in an angle of, of pleasure, uh, happiness and enjoyment and, excitement and so on but you know his philosophy actually brings me to something uh an answer of the greatest questions of life like what is the meaning of life you know this question for me is the greatest question because not unless you can find the meaning of life then you can go on and live life to the fullest so the greatest question is what is the meaning of life and epicoros fortunately give a good option, a good answer for us. So his struggles is to finding the ultimate meaning of life. What is really the ultimate meaning of life? And Epicoros walked through his entire career as a philosopher, I should say, in finding the meaning of life. And Epicoros, Epicoros has his only question. He said, you know, wisdom is not just enough. It must be wisdom plus happiness. Wisdom must be coupled with happiness or else, you know, we cannot attain the good life. And for Epicurus, he said that the, the pursuit of pleasure is the ultimate goal of life. For him, if there is no pleasure on, on what you do, if you are not happy with what you do, then you know you have not attained the goal of life. In his, you know, in his one of his favorite saying, he said, "Let no one be slow to seek wisdom when he is young, nor weary in the search of it when he has grown old, for no age is too early or too late for the health of the soul." Epicurus recognizes wisdom as a maintainer of your health. It is a way of becoming healthy on the way you live. And for him, when you are young, you must be quick in acquiring wisdom. And when you're old, you must not get tired or weary of, of acquiring it. For him, there's no age too early. You see, sometimes, you know, I'm so young, I'm still young, and, you know, I have more time to acquire wisdom. No, he said, you have to acquire as fast as you can, but when you get old, there's no late age to acquire wisdom. You know, Epicurus really understood that life is so short, that life will get to end, and then now, is better than the future. So the way I understood his writing, he said, you must be like children. 
sometimes when we are adults, we get to go to with the, with the routine. We will go with the routine in our daily lives. We wake up, we go to work and work, go home, have dinner, sleep, and then wake up the next day, do the same, go to work and work and work, go home, then sleep, and then wake up again. That routinary activities, according to Epicorus, for him, although it brings comfort of life and familiarity, but for him, it's boring, it's boring. It gets you in a state of boredom. And for, for Frederick Nietzsche, boredom is one of the greatest evil in humankind's experience. Guys, I would like to tell you, be like children. You know, even the Bible is saying, saying that, that Jesus is telling his disciples to be like children. You know, children are, 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 are adventurous. Children are excited on so many things. Children have so much energy on, on knowing everything that you want to know. You see, children don't like to be rotinary because they want to experience things to the fullest. And I would like to encourage you you want to live life to the fullest, not just wisdom. But of course, you must be happy and be like children. Another, this for Epicorus, he said that in the, a wise person must seek wisdom at all stage of life. This is what he was saying in his in his uh, saying a while ago that there is no old nor as young uh, as you are. Or, or too young to acquire wisdom in every stage of life, from birth to death, from being young to being adult to being very old, advanced in age, we must have to seek wisdom. And we must not, we must not have fear of the things which are to come, even death. For because, you know, death is just a thing. He said, in one of his writings, he said, death cannot harm you when you're alive, much more when you're dead. Therefore, don't fear on so many things. Sometimes fear will hinder us to experience happiness in life. So once you seek for wisdom, do not have fear because fear will kill your happiness, ladies and gentlemen. And to conclude, the last saying that I would like to share with you, we must exercise ourselves in things which bring happiness. This is the, this is the saying of the chorus. He said, we must exercise ourselves in things which bring happiness. Guys, the world is so unpredictable. We do not know the future. We do not know the future. Who knows that the pandemic will come? Who knows that there will be a war between Russia and Ukraine? But Epicoros said, exercise in all ways you live in the things which bring you happiness. Because wisdom plus happiness is peace. I'm not saying about dead being dead but your life is peaceful and happy. Have a good day, everyone. And I hope you enjoy the video, the presentation. Be you done, like, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell. And may the force be with you. And at peace with Yami Yuda. Have a good day and enjoy.